first alert forecast to start the day. It's one of those mornings just kind of rain gear handy for the kids standing around at the bus stop as we drop into those upper 60s. Sunrise is 7 o'clock on the dot. Wanted to note that as we are uh, getting into that later part of the summer months, but we'll feel more like summer moving ahead. Right now those clouds branched out, helped to create a few more showers and storms even over the course of the next few hours. Could easily see some new ones develop in the plateau area. Notice the Southern Valley to Smokies have a couple more showers even flaring up. So there's a little give and take here with more clouds, few showers, more sun than midday to afternoon. A couple more showers want to still pop up with those last little bit of clouds in the Southern Valley. So we'll get some spots of showers in the foothills, Southern Valley up into the mountains, kind of clipping Knox County to Jefferson and a little lone stray shower still trying to pop up around six in Knox County to seven o'clock right there along those foothills, South Knoxville, Alcoa area to the lower elevations of Sevier County and then fizzling out. So it's all part of that tapering back off, pulling in the winds from the north, and then we'll create some more fog by tomorrow morning. So with those scattered showers early becoming spawny, you can see we add up a little bit more, especially in the southern half of our area when it comes to the rest of your day today, but at least it is dropping off in coverage. That is mainly light rain. You can see lots of light to dark greens here. That's actually your few hundredths to a tenth of an inch, this little bright streak. It's an isolated quarter. That little, that little blue dot there is an isolated half an inch. So as we go through the day today, it is scattered to spotty. It is tapering off. It is becoming more mild. We'll go from 68 at 7 a.m. Again, sunrise right there, 77 at noon. Your high today, 84. We're a few degrees below average, but it's still just muggy enough that it feels a few degrees warmer in the forecast where you live as we peel back these clouds. So at least you're going to get some more time with sunshine north. So that leaves you closer to 83 in Athens, 84 Loudoun and Knoxville, 83 Madisonville. So you can see that south to central valley here, getting that mix of clouds to clearing. 78, your high today, Crossville to 79 in Oneida. Sunshine letting you bounce back a little bit here. 82, La Follette to 80 in Middlesbrough. You're topping out closer to 79 in Tazewell to 81 in Morristown and 83, Pigeon Forge. A couple showers again going up into the mountains and moving out. That will leave us with that fog tomorrow morning because that moisture will just lift right back out of the ground. We'll likely have some dense fog tomorrow morning with a mostly clear sky but at least we can keep it mostly clear tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day, lots of sunshine and that a little bit lower humidity helps us out with limited rain chances and of course sticking to the shade will help too. We're going to be just below average, really right at it if you think about it. Tomorrow morning starts off pretty mild, 64 degrees. We'll be around 80 degrees at noon, high tomorrow 87. Perfectly normal, mostly sunny. Nice day to get outside before we have to crank up the humidity again, which is what brings back some limited rain chances, but still the second half of the week. You can see there's a lot more brewing around the region. It's hotter and it's steamier, and that gives us a couple of storms to bubble up, mainly along our terrain changes. Thursday and Friday, we'll see some spotty storms, especially on the plateau to the mountains in southeastern Kentucky. So it really is our terrain that helps to create a few storms to finish out the week as that heat and humidity will be back. A reminder, it's still summer. In East Tennessee. So yes, this is one cold front passage today. Gives us a mild afternoon, a couple of mild mornings here. Then the heat climbs back up first. The humidity returns, which is where we see some stray rain on Wednesday, some isolated afternoon to evening storms Thursday and Friday and Saturday, all hanging out in the upper 80s, all feeling more like low 90s. There's the steamy air there, but then we'll get back to a few more storms going into early next week.